Welcome to BizWire. I'm Joseph Nordstrom in Beijing. Chinese Premier Li Keqiang is in India on his first trip abroad since taking office in March. Mr. Li and his counterpart, Prime Minister Manmohan Singh, discussed trade ties and other bilateral issues and signed eight agreements in their meeting on Monday. Premier Li, China's second most powerful official, brought a large group of Chinese business leaders, including bankers and executives from telecom giants Huawei and ZTE. Li is expected to try to keep the three-day trip focused on economic ties between China and India, which have grown rapidly over the past decade. The Chinese Ministry of Commerce said last week that bilateral trade reached $66.5 billion in 2012, with both sides setting an ambitious target of $100 billion by 2015. A China state-run media outlet Xinhua said that mutual political confidence between the two is growing, as is their practical cooperation. India is now the world's biggest arms buyer, and China, its largest trading partner, has hopes of supplying some of those defense needs, despite the recent border dispute where a few dozen Chinese soldiers crossed the line of actual control where they camped for three weeks. A senior Indian government official said his country hasn't come to terms with the latest flare-up and that it has certainly induced a great deal of realism on the Indian side. The New York Times wrote that there is a widely held view among officials and defense experts in India that the encroachment served as a reminder that China has grown far more powerful than India in recent decades, a reality, the paper writes, the top Indian officials quietly concede. Chinese diplomats appeared eager to signal that the border dispute should not cloud the visit. We ran an in-depth report about the border incursion here on BizWire, but the event received very little attention in official Chinese news media, while coverage was widespread in India. Still, Indian officials said they appreciated Mr. Li's decision to make India his first foreign visit. The Chinese leader is scheduled to fly to Pakistan, India's bitter rival, on Tuesday. Pakistan and China have long had strong military ties, and China is building a port in Pakistan, a source of concern for India. India is also expected to express concerns over the construction of three dams that China intends to build on the Brahmaputra River, which flows into India's northeast provinces. The economics, though, are certainly what's driving India and China closer together. And while they remain competitors, the two economies complement the other well, as each has their own specialties. India is well developed in services, including IT and software, and the future is promising for the two countries to set up joint ventures and increase mutual investments, as well as trade and services, which will ease trade imbalances, which have ballooned in China's favor to around $39 billion. India will be looking for concessions and initiatives from China on market access for Indian IT and pharmaceutical companies, while the Chinese side will be looking for India's nod for allowing Chinese investment in high-speed railways. Besides big project construction, China's strength in manufacturing could grow more efficiently with Indian software. Both leaders agreed to further explore the development of a trade and infrastructure corridor linking China, India, Bangladesh and Myanmar. And together, China and India have a market of more than 2.7 billion customers, which could become a powerful force in global commerce if they can get past the mutual suspicion that currently dogs cooperation. Well, this is BizWire on the Blue Ocean Network. Stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more in Economic Insight.